first of all, featherweight. A lot of good guys up there this year at featherweight. Uh, last year, Cobrinha was the champion here at featherweight and uh, omitted from this year's uh, sign-up list. He's not on the list, so uh, primed for a, a new champion to take the uh, number one spot here in 2018. Who do you got, How? Uh, as your podium for featherweight. All right, okay, so <laughs> featherweight is one of the most competitive divisions out there this year. It's absolutely stacked. There are like 20 guys and they're all vying for the gold medal and probably half of them could easily make it to the podium. But there's one guy that I've got going for gold and that is Marcio Andre, okay? So Marcio Andre, he came at it, he got gold. Uh, Europeans, now he's never got gold uh, pants, okay? So 2016, bronze medal, 2017, silver medal at lightweight. I'm gonna say that it's gonna be him and the relative newcomer to the featherweight scene, Jamil Hill at silver. I like a final between Jamil and Marcio Andre, and then that leaves open the third place finishes. Well, Keishinho is always right there. He's been a silver medalist for three years running. I'm gonna say Keishinho in at Bronze. You, dem you demoted him from, from perennial silver medalist to bronze medalist. I'm sorry, Keishinho, but <laughs> I gotta say, Jamil is hungry. He is super technical. You beat him via technicality last year, DQ, and on the other side of the bronze medal podium, I'm picking Gianni Grippo, who unfortunately can't quite get past Marcio Andre. And I know that Jamil has beaten Gianni recently as well. Gianni, of course, is a pan champ, but my bronze medals are Keishinho and Gianni. Pretty solid list right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna as much as it pains me, I'm gonna have to agree with you. I'm gonna put Marcio Andre in the, uh, the number one spot as well. I just think that uh, he's, got, uh, he's on a roll. He's got too much to, uh, he's, he's looked too good lately in Europeans and everything like that. So uh, definitely, I'm gonna agree with you here, Marcio Andre. But however, my number two spot, I'm gonna pull out a dark horse that you didn't even mention in your list, in your top four list right here. I'm pulling out AJ Agazon. That's right, you heard it. AJ has been uh, flirting with featherweight these last couple months. He's dabbled. Yeah, yeah, he's dabbled. Yeah. He, he went to the lowest weight class he possibly could at 80cc, you know? And so I think finally, things are gonna start paying off for him in the, um, in the featherweight division. I like AJ Agazon to get past a Keishinho, to get past a, a He's got Jamil the game Hill. to do it. I think he does. I think that, that, you know, say whatever you want about AJ Agazon, but he knows how to win when it comes down to it. So I'm gonna put AJ Agazon in the finals. I don't think he gets it done against a, a veteran savvy guy like Marcio Andre, but I'm gonna put him in there. I like Gianni Grippo as well in here. I think he's, uh, he's uh, uh, on, a, on a roll as well. He placed second this year at, at Euros. Always right, right there, but um, can't quite make it to the final match. I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree there. And then number three, who should we put out there? I, I, like, I like Shane Jamil Hill. I like Osvaldo Caixinho as well, but uh, I'm gonna go for uh, the more Americans, the better. Jamil Hill is gonna round out my top three right there, top four. So this is what I got. Slightly different here. I agree with you on Marcio Andre, but this is how I think the podium's gonna shake out. And it all depends on the brackets. It all depends on the bracket. We haven't seen those just, just yet.